dog, Nakawa. Uh, before we took him to Cody, I had a hard time um, with Nakawa. Not saying that he's a bad dog or anything like that. He's actually a very good dog, but he had a better bond with my partner because um, they've been working a lot together. The struggles that I have with Nakawa, um, he's. I've always had a hard time having him listen to me. Um, it would take maybe like five or ten tries for me to get his attention, like you know, to come over here or just like calling his name or telling, even telling him to sit or down. But um, also, even with just walking with him, he doesn't pull. It's just that he kind of gets distracted. Or, um, the surroundings, he wants to sniff all over the place, and I just wanted a dog that, you know, can be by my side, or when I ask him to come, like, I just wanted him to just come to me and everything, um, but after two weeks, um, he did training with Cody, it's been so much better, uh, as you can see in the video, I had a really easy time walking with him, having him heal, having him sit, play, sit down, and not only did Cody help him, he helped me to be more confident, especially with body language. Um, for example, like when I bend it over and told him to sit, in a way it shows that I'm not being assertive, and for Nicola's eyes, he's kind of like, oh, I. She's not really uh, bossy or she's not as dominant, so I don't really need to really like obey her. But for so with Cody, he corrected my posture and he said you just have to show him uh, this <laughs> with the two fingers down and you know having your chest open and rectangular, and then he'll get it. And I. Did it again, and he it, it it didn't take two tries. It only took one try with him. So I'm very happy with that, and I just can't wait to keep working with him in the future, so that I can I can build a special bond with him. So because he's also my dog. Um, if honestly, I would recommend uh, off leash training to anyone. Like seriously.